Hi, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot here with another quick tip about using glide rings in iFly EFB. So first off, before we activate glide rings, we actually have to change some settings in our aircraft profile. So we'll click Menu, Setup, Aircraft, Edit. And so now we'll see Glide Ratio and Glide Speed. So we'll have to put those in based on our aircraft. So for me, I put 90 knots with a glide ratio of 8 to 1. So now we'll click Close. And so now we can actually activate our glide rings. So this is a map layer, so we'll click map mode, and we'll click glide range. So now you can see we get this green outline here, and that shows us our, our glide range. Um, the green line shows it in a safe distance with a bit of margin of error. And um, what you can do further is you can click this gear icon here, and you can change some settings here, like make it show thicker lines which I like a lot, and then you can show a red ring. So the margin of error I'm talking about is this red ring shows you the absolute maximum your plane can make it in your glide range. So you really want to keep like a safe airport to land at in an emergency within this green um, because that gives you a bit of margin of error just in case something happens. All these calculations are made by those um, by the airspeed you gave, as well as your glide ratio. It's also calculated by the way that you're moving. That's why you can see this little bump back here, because it would be harder to reach there. It's also based on winds aloft and your altitude, so there's quite a few factors going into this. That's about it for glide ranges. If you have any more questions, you can reach out to us or email at support@adventurepilot.com. But that's it, and I hope you have a wonderful time flying. Bye now.